Hi, welcome to Data Store. As Data Store uses article as products, today we'll be discussing how to create a variable product using Data Store. Variants are product of same type in nature but with different attributes. The best example for the variable product is the t-shirt. Though the t-shirt is same, it varies from color, size, and its pattern. Now let's try to create a variable product using t-shirt as an example. As data store uses article as product, as shown in the previous videos, give title and description for your product and remember to choose the category for your product. So once you have done with that, go and click on the data store card tab. Now make the treat as a product to S. Now here, instead of choosing product type to simple, choose the product type as variable. Now click on the save and continue button. Now in order to view your uh, variable product in front end, make the visible in store front to S. Click on the images and add some images for your variable product. In order to create a variable product, we have to create option for the product and we will be accessing that option inside this text box. As shown in the simple product in the dashboard, go to the catalog and click on the options. To create a new option, click on the new button. Now, as shown in the simple product, give the unique name, display presentation and choose a field type for your variable product. Now click on the add option value. Give the ordering for your option value. So in order to create another option, click on the save a new button. As said before, since you can't use the same unique name for other options, I'm going to use color as one of the option for variable product. I'm going to choose fill type as radio button. So once you're done with uh, creating your option, click on the save and close button. So as seen in the simple product, inside the dashboard, in the table, you can see the unique name, display presentation, and the field type you have selected for the variable product. In order to access this uh, unique name, go to the GT Store card tab and click on the variant menu. I can access my unique name from the list by typing the few characters of the unique name. So once you have accessed your unique name for the variant options, click on the save button. Now again go to the JTS card tab. So inside the variant menu, you can see the set values link beside the variant options. Click on the set value link. Create attribute for the option size. Choose an option and click on the create option button. Same way, create attributes for the option color.
So once you have done with the uh, setting attributes for the option, click on the generate variant button. Now click on the variant menu. So inside the table you can see the variant name being generated for each and every option you have created. If you want to regenerate a variant, click on the regenerate variant button. If you want to delete variants, click on the delete variant button. So once you click on the delete variant button, all the variants you have created will be deleted once for all. In order to add SKU price for variant product, click on the edit button. So in order to provide SKU price and current stock for your variable product, click on the edit button. Now you can provide attributes for your variable product by clicking on these tabs. Now I'm going to provide SKU for my variable product. So I'm going now I'm going to fix a price for my variable product. If you want to avail discount for your variable product, click on the set prices button as shown in the simple product. To avail discount for a variable product, leave the date range empty and just enter the quantity range and price for your variable product and click on the create button. Click on the inventory tab. Make the manage stock to S. Yes. Provide a stock quantity for your variable product. If you want to provide shipping details for your product, make the enable shipping to yes and provide dimension, length class, weight and weight class for your product. Always remember to click on the save button once you have provided the details for your variable product. To display the SKU price and current stock of variable product, click on the save button. Now in the table you can see the variant name price and the current stock being displayed. Repeat the same step for rest of the variant options. So in the table you can see the SKU price and the current stock being displayed for the variable product. To view the variable product in the browser, click on the store name you have created. Now click on the menu. So here you can see the options of the variable product being displayed. You can see the SKU and the price of the product being changing as I choose the size and the color of the variable product. Since we have uh, created the variant option with the combination of color and size, as I choose the size and the color, the price and the stock keep on varying. Now notice here, as I choose the color and the size, you can see the price of the product and the stock keep on changing. Thank you for watching this video.